The 2017 Can West Games Online Qualifier Workout 17.3 is a race against the clock. Athletes will attempt to complete a chipper in the allotted time. If successful, the athlete will have time added to the clock and a new chipper to complete. The first section of the workout looks like this. Prior to eight minutes, complete 20 handstand push-ups, 50 double unders, 15 deadlifts at 225 pounds for men and 155 pounds for women, 20 handstand push-ups, 50 double unders, and 13 deadlifts at 265 pounds for men and 185 pounds for women. If completed before eight minutes, add four minutes to the clock and proceed to 20 handstand push-ups, 50 double unders, 11 deadlifts at 295 pounds for men and 205 pounds for women. If this chipper is completed before 12 minutes, add another four minutes to the clock and proceed to 20 handstand push-ups, 50 double unders, and nine deadlifts at 325 pounds for men and 225 pounds for women. If completed before 16 minutes, a final four minutes will be added to the clock and the athlete will proceed to 20 handstand push-ups and 50 double unders. And then with whatever time is remaining, the athlete will get as many deadlifts as possible. The final weight on that deadlift is 355 pounds for the men and 245 pounds for women. At the call of three, two, one, the athlete kicks up to the wall and begins the first round. Prior to starting the workout, the athlete and their judge will need to set the height for their handstand push-ups. To determine the height, the athlete stands in a hip-width stance with their toes touching the wall. They raise their hands over their head, lock out their elbows, and with their thumbs touching, press their palms against the wall. Get a helper to make a mark at both wrists. Now, take a second mark three inches below the original mark. Draw or tape a level line connecting the two lower marks. Every repetition of the handstand must start with both the athlete's heels above the straight line. Have the head make contact with the floor at the bottom and finish with the heels above the line. If the athlete's heels are not above the line at the start of the rep, it will not count. If the athlete fails to finish each handstand push-up with both heels above the line, touching the wall, it will not count. If two plates and an ab mat are being used, the head must pass below the palms. Kipping is allowed. After 20 handstand push-ups, the athlete will complete 50 double-unders. For every repetition of the double-under, the rope must pass forwards around the athlete's body. For each repetition to count, the rope must pass around the athlete's body twice. Single-unders are not permitted. Once the athlete has completed 50 double-unders, the athlete will complete 15 deadlifts. Men will begin with a 225 pound barbell. Women will begin with a 155 pound barbell. Each rep begins with the barbell on the ground and finishes when the athlete stands up and achieves full extension of the knees, hips, and with their shoulders behind the bar at the top of the movement. Any grip on the bar is permitted so long as the feet remain inside the hands. Once lockout is achieved, the athlete can drop the barbell. Bouncing the bar will be considered a no rep. The rep will not be counted if the athlete fails to achieve full extension of the hips at the top of the deadlift. Not locking out the knees at the top of the movement will also be considered a no rep. After 15 deadlifts, the athlete will head back to the wall and attempt to finish 20 handstand push-ups and then 50 double unders. After the 50 double unders, the athlete will return to the deadlift bar and complete 13 deadlifts with the increased load. If the athlete completes this and any subsequent segments in the required time, more time will be added to the clock and the athlete can proceed immediately into the next segment. Please refer to the PDF for full details. The athlete's score for Can West Games Qualifier 17.3 will be their total reps completed in all segments. For masters, scaled, and team divisions, be sure to review the PDF on this page for full details of your workout.